Diagon Alley and what's the other place? <laughs> I feel like it's been forever since I've done I just a sit down and talk to you video. <laughs> um, okay, so one, sorry the lighting is super <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> My lamp is like sitting right here, so it's just right there. It's a lot. Um, second, it's like t 11. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm literally about to go to bed as soon as I film this video. <laughs> so I have no makeup on. My hair is back on a ponytail. I'm in a sweatshirt that definitely has stains on it. So you know what? It's fine. But I just, I still have a couple of videos to post, but um, I'm not done editing them. So I just thought I would film this video just kind of quickly. Um, because when I mentioned it in my DCP haul video, everyone was like, oh my gosh, yes, please make a video on that. And I've been meaning to do it, but since I started my new job, which I absolutely love, but I'm pretty much, I mean, I work five days a week from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So a lot of my day is spent at work. So I don't have quite as much time to do sit down videos. Um, just because I don't really film them in the morning before I go to work because I'd have to wake up way earlier for that and <laughs> I'm already not a morning person. Um, and coming home at night, I like catch up with my family because I haven't seen them or I hang out with Jack and then I go to bed in like two hours after I get home. <laughs> so not a ton of time. So I'm literally about to go to bed, but I just thought I would film this really quickly because a lot of people were super interested in the idea. So I'm going to be talking about the universal annual pass and whether or not you should get it. And this is going to be something that everyone has a different opinion on. So just because of what I say in a video doesn't like it's going to be different for everybody. A lot of people on the Disney College program get an annual pass to Universal because it's also a giant theme park in Orlando that's pretty close to where you are. So a lot of people get this as an option just of something else to do. So a lot of people will have different opinions on this, whether you should or should not get it. I'm just going to tell you my experience, what I think, my advice, and a good way to think about getting it. I absolutely regret buying the Universal Annual Pass. I was so mad at myself after I went for the first time. I went with Mackenzie for the first time and we had a lot of fun and I vlogged the whole thing but for some reason that vlog freaked out when I was uploading it and it just like deleted like half of the footage and it was like just stopped working. So I had a whole big fun vlog from there, but I never did put it up because it freaked out on me. Um, and we had a fun day there. Like I loved spending that time with kids and like seeing everything for the first time and doing something new. But after that day, I was like low key kind of mad that I bought it because I knew I would never choose going over there just like to hang out for fun over going to Disney. So I was really upset that I ended up buying the Universal Pass. Um, I, Mackenzie and Mary Catherine both had it like pretty early on and then Janie got it eventually. And I know all three of them absolutely adore Universal. They went pretty frequently when we were down there. And I know that they absolutely loved it and are probably super jazzed that they bought the annual pass um i was just not one of those people and so it's kind of hard to tell which side of that you'll be on um but here's just like a couple of things that i have to really consider before buying your pass if you do the biggest reason that i ended up actually purchasing the pass was because I was afraid of like missing out on opportunities to hang out with people. So my biggest reasoning for getting it was like, well, I don't wanna not be able to hang out with people 
if everyone's like, hey, we're going to Universal, let's all go. And I didn't want to be the one person that didn't have the pass and couldn't go. And so that was a big reason why I ended up buying it. And I was never, ever, ever put in that situation <laughs> where, and obviously I had the pass, so if I would have been, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But I was never in a situation where everyone was like, hey, let's all go to Universal together because like that's the place that we want to go and spend time. Like, usually the way it happened was someone would ask you, hey, do you have a Universal pass? And you'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, oh, cool. Do you want to go to Universal? Because you had a Universal pass. Like, if you didn't, people will go to Disney instead because everyone can get in there for free. Like, so it was like never a situation. I thought it was going to be a lot more people had the Universal Pass. Everyone wanted to go hang out at Universal. It was a cool new thing. It wasn't Disney. And that just didn't really seem to be the case. Like probably, no, I'm going to say like 99.9% .9 of the time people are hanging out in Disney. And people go to Universal like much less frequently. And I don't know. So like that was the main reason I bought it. And I never really needed that as an option. Like people are going to hang out in Disney much more than they go to Universal. Even if they go to Universal a lot, like they'll probably go to Disney more. And so I just think it was kind of a waste of my money, which is annoying, but you know, you live and you learn, whatever. Another thing that I will say like, I'm a roller coaster person. I love roller coasters. I love big rides. I think they're super fun. I get, like, pumped about amusement park roller coasters. Love them. Um, and so I was excited to go to Universal because I was like, oh, they have a lot more big roller coasters. Like, it'll be fun. Like, it's the more, like, woo like, crazy thrill ride rides. Like, instead of, like, the Disney more, like, kind of kid rides even their big thrill rides like there's only like rock and roller coaster that's like really a roller coaster so i was like oh it'll be a fun option when i'm feeling a little more woohoo thrill ride and adventurous and i was so disappointed by the actual rides in universal so the hulk awesome the hulk is a great ride i love it so much i stand by it. i think it's a super great roller coaster it feels very smooth it's a fun experience it has like a takeoff that i've never had on another roller coaster so it's like you know you always like cliche like go up the hill of the roller coaster and then you have a big drop well you go up the hill of the hulk and it like poof, rocket launches you up the hill and no one told me about it when I first got on, so it was just like crazy cool. I was not expecting it. It was just really, really fun. Um, so the Hulk, I loved. The Mummy is really good. I really liked the Mummy a lot. Um, but honestly, those are the only two roller coasters that I think are really worth riding that much at Universal. Um, rip ride rocket whatever the one where you like pick your music it's a cool ride and I like that you can kind of pick your own background music but that one like hurts <laughs> like that one like it's just really really aggressive like I couldn't do it more than once in a day like no way like it it like rocked my head and I do not really get like sick or motion sick or anything like that and that one just like hurt my body like I felt like I had just been beaten up when I got off of it. So it was just like not super, a super great experience for me. I was like, eh, I don't love it. Um, and then literally every other ride at Universal, that's a, that's a vast statement, but the majority of the other rides at Universal are like digital screen rides. Ugh, and it just gets so annoying. Like, I'm like, okay, just put me on something where I don't feel like I'm going to throw up because all I'm seeing is like this digital world in front of me. And I'm saying this from a person who does not get motion sick at all. Like never in my life have I been a motion sick person or like get kind of queasy on rides or like 3D movies. I don't like 3D movies, but they never gave me a headache or anything like that. Like never been that person, but literally every time I left Universal, I felt sick just because every ride other than like 
maybe five or six rides I feel like are all digital ones. Not to mention the fact that Transformers and Spider-Man are literally the same ride but with a different story happening on the screen. Like moment for moment the same thing. You get sprayed with water, there's a part where fire pops out, like it's the exact same ride vehicle, the same twists and turns, everything, just with a different movie as the theming. And it's just like so uncreative to have two of the exact same ride with just like a different theme. I don't know. And apparently they just added Fast and Furious. Apparently that one's super similar to the um, Spider-Man and Transformers. I didn't, I haven't, obviously haven't been on that one, but that's what I've heard. And I just like, literally everything is like that. The Jimmy Fallon ride, I didn't ever ride that one, but that one's a digital screen thing too. Jimmy Fallon is digital, The Simpsons is a digital ride. Um, Transformers, Spider-Man, the Harry Potter ride, which I was impressed with like the kind of like progressive nature of that ride. Like it flips you upside down in this little vehicle, you're like, going all over the place. It scared me because there's giant spiders and dementors in your face and I don't like that I was like so close because I couldn't see what was around me. I was impressed with that ride the first time I got on it though but it's like a digital screen for half of it and then half of it you're just like kind of going through the castle or whatever and like literally flipping upside down so it was like a double dose of making you feel sick because you're flipping upside down and moving and then you also get the digital screen effects. So it was just like everything's a digital screen and I just got so tired of it, like so tired of it. So it doesn't really feel like as much thrill ride as I was expecting it to be. It's a lot more like digital effects. And I'm just not a person who thinks that's super exciting. So I always loved Universal feeling kind of sick and just kind of queasy, never feeling super great or happy with my experience. And I just, I don't know, I just didn't think it was worth it. I think I went to Universal three times, maybe four, like three or four times, but it was like not more than that. And so my pass paid for itself because if it's a, I don't remember how much it is exactly. And I did it like the payments, like the payment plan or whatever. Um, so I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it did pay for itself like the time the amount of times that I went I would have paid if I like paid individually per days but honestly like if you're gonna be a person if you've been to Universal before and you know that you like it I would definitely suggest you getting the pass like for sure but if you're just someone who's like oh like I don't really want to miss out if people are going to Universal or like I just kind of want to go like for the experience of it like da -da 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 -da. I would honestly buy a day pass the first time and decide whether or not you like it and think it's worth it to buy the annual pass because as annoying as that would be if you decided that you did like it and like wanted to buy an annual pass like it would suck that you would have to pay like that extra money um because you already like you paid for the one day ticket and then you would like come later and buy the pass as well like that'd be annoying that you paid kind of more than you needed to but let me tell you it's more annoying that you buy the pass and realize that you don't really want it <laughs> and then like you're paying on something for so long that it's like I don't even want this like it's so not worth it to me I think it's just gonna kind of depend on your personality but think hard about it like don't just like be like oh yeah I'm buying it for sure because I'm gonna be in Orlando I'm gonna go all the time like Universal feels much further away from DCP housing like it just feels like a trek to go there I don't know maybe it was just because I was never actually excited to go but it's a lot further away than anything else in Disney and I'm like I'm, I'm telling you truthfully people go to Disney more than they go to Universal so like you're not gonna miss out on something. And if all of your friends decided they wanted to go to Universal, there will be someone who isn't and will want to go to Disney. So it's like, you're never gonna be missing out on an opportunity if you don't go to Universal. Like, 
I was never put in that position where I like would have felt like that even if I didn't have a pass like people ask do you have a universal pass and you say no and they're like oh okay cool like what Disney park do you want to go to then like literally that's it another thing too is that you don't have to have a pass or even pay for a ticket to go to City Walk at Universal and City Walk is kind of like Universal's downtown Disney so they have like lots of restaurants and cool shops and they just put the new voodoo donuts in there and there's like some bars and stuff I think I never went to any of them but I know a lot of people like went to City Walk like to go out and stuff so you can do all of that without paying for a ticket or having a pass so it's like you have that exposure to that part of Universal too without needing to pay for a ticket or a pass so it's like you can still go do fun stuff and like get that feeling of it too you're just not like going into the theme parks I definitely would just really think about it and I honestly would suggest just buying a day ticket if you're not sure if you're gonna like Universal and want to go there often so I don't know it's gonna it's gonna be just like a person to person kind of deal but I definitely do not think that the pass was worth it for me I kind of regretted buying it like a couple days after I got it because I knew I wasn't gonna go often it's a, it was a cool experience to see it and see what it's all about see how it was different from Disney just kind of a different culture whatever but I think I could have gone once and been fine with it um yeah so but I know some of my roommates bought them and loved them I know Catherine didn't buy one and I don't think she was ever really affected by the fact that she didn't go to Universal I don't think she felt like she was missing out on that by any means so I don't know I just wasn't impressed with Universal so I don't know <laughs> I know a lot of people who go to Universal frequently and love Universal and are happy they bought the pass and go well more than what the pass pays for or well more than like what you're paying for the pass I know it's like three I think it's like 300 something and so basically if you go three times three or four times it pays for itself so it just depends on the type of person you're gonna be and whether or not you want to go to Universal and spend your time there it just wasn't for me I'm not a Universal person and so I regretted it but that doesn't mean you won't be a person who think it'd be worth it but I would just like seriously consider it consider just buying a day ticket if you're that person who's like I just kind of want to see what it's about and it's new and it's different like da -da -da -da. because I was like I just don't think it's worth it so there's my little spiel about the Universal annual pass and if y'all have any more like specific questions for me you can definitely comment them down below and I'll um, like try to answer them to the best of my abilities as best as I can um, just if you have like questions about what like rides are there or anything and I didn't ride all of the rides because honestly I was really not that interested <laughs> um, Harry Potter World I don't know if that's what you call it but Diagon Alley and what's the other place Hogwarts I don't remember what the other place is called um, but it was really cool to see all of that but again it's just going to be up to your own discretion so comment down below if you have any more specific questions for me that's all from me tonight hopefully i'll be posting this video soon please subscribe and like let me talk to you guys in the comments and that's it for me i'll be seeing you guys again soon <laughs> bye